Hello, my name is David and I am here bringing you a tutorial on bringing a skinned mesh animated character from Blender into Unity. So what I have here is I have my little character. He's rigged and he has animations, he can walk, all sorts of things. Um, and he has he has one material and one material is intentional. That is so the it's for um what do you call it? Performance reasons. It just makes it come better. And I got two textures here, I got normal and diffuse, and they are also I have them in a folder. Oop, I have them in a folder here. So I have got oop, why is that being slow? Normals and diffuse. So that's that. Can I minimize that? Yeah I can. Okay. So what we're gonna do now is to get the exporter you go user preferences and you type in here FBX and you will get it there and you just click the little checkbox here and that's pretty much that um, and then export oh you gotta you gotta select it select your character not the the armature now the, the actual mesh and then go export Autodesk FBX and you want to go to your the folder where is it no it's not working you want to go to the um, um, okay, she's fine. This you want to go to your Unity project folder. I'm just going to create a directory called models. Okay, and then this is extremely important that you do this. See the selected objects down here. You got to check that. Um, apply modifiers is fine. Do not check include default take. Uncheck that. It'll probably be checked by default. Uncheck that and check selected objects and click export. And that's that. And then we open up. Unity and it'll import it. So that's pretty much that. Uh, let me just, I've been trying this out. Okay. So it'll import like this. Let me just bring this. Oh dear. Computer's a bit slow with the, uh, the recorder. Okay. So it's got in here, it's low res and it's got no uh, materials or textures on it. So in here you can see it's got the mesh which is this and it's got the armature which has the mesh parented to it so um, that's fine and then the mesh is obviously here 1600 tries is very low res um, well I don't know I think it's low res it was made to be low res anyways so in um, here again I've I've been already testing this out but this setting up here that I'm changing scale factor when you import it in, that'll be 0 0.01, which is a really strange number. And I don't know why it does that, but it just does because it's a bit weird. So you got to change that to 1. And if you have something that doesn't have a subsurf on it, so it's got sharp edges, you can go to Normals, uh, Calculate, and then change the smoothing angle down, and it'll make it, it'll, it'll stop it being so smooth. So to get our things in, we're going to create a folder here called... Um, textures. Oh, okay. Very slow computer. Textures. Um, and then you got to import your your textures. So just drag them in. I'm just gonna textures. Uh, textures. God, this recording a video really takes a lot of my computer. Um, and I, I I've got fairly fairly good computer, I think. Anyway, so the, the diffuse you can leave as is, the the normals you have to um, edit a bit. You see up to texture type, changes to normal map, and then uncheck generate from grayscale because you're not generating from grayscale because the normal map is already generated. If you had a black and white bump map, you would check that. So uncheck that and click apply, and you'll get, it'll go all like blue like this. And so materials, this is the material, obviously it's got nothing on it. We have got a um, a model with a bump, a normal map, and a, a diffuse. So we need a bump to diffuse shader. So you go in here, bump to diffuse, and you get a thing. So we're going to put our monster diffuse in there. And you already see we're starting to get somewhere. And the normal map, just drag into there. And look at that. That is already jumping out. That already looks great. That's pretty much that. If you go to monster and just open this up, you'll see that that's it. That is the model 
in and it has its normals everything like that that's it that's all you really have to do to import it in so if you just drag I've got a, a little light here and a plane just drag this out into here into the middle and that's it in the game Ooh, okay let's press F by the way and you can um, you can uh, sorry you can look at them so let's just move them about do we have a camera let's make this game like this there we go so let's move the camera so this is the game view that's pretty much that I mean not an awful lot to it there you go that's him in the game engine with normal maps everything and that's only 1600 tries so it's really good going um, okay so next thing we're gonna do is the animations so if you go to the the uh, the FBX here that you imported oh god I don't know if you can see oh, there we go um, and then down here should be split animations can you see that checkbox have that checked and click plus and keep clicking plus to the amount of animations you have so I'm gonna press two I'm, I'm only gonna do one because I don't wanna waste your time so walk cycle and then you know, everything everything else and I know I've got a sheet in front of me here with all the th with all the, the animation things so it starts at frame 0 and it ends at frame 31 is the walk cycle and the wrap mode is loop and the other one you can just leave click apply and if you come into here you see now we now have a walk cycle animation so we go into the game here and that should be clicked on play automatically so there you can now see him I'm sure you can see that that's him now walking in the game engine and now I'm just gonna quickly I don't know how much time this is dragging on but I'm just gonna quickly show you how you can uh, use that in code So I'm just gonna create a C sharp script because I think C sharp is better than JavaScript my my personal opinion animation who I have that spelt wrong oh well and we're gonna open up mono develop and uh, blue okay we don't need start get rid of that so I'm just gonna put in here an if statement uh, so that we can control the animation so if input actually can you see that let's let's zoom in so you can see that nice and big if input dot um, get key down and it's going to be space no capitals um, I need another, another thing in there Let's just tab that over okay so in here you write animation no capitals dot crossfade there's a few other ones there's also just play but crossfade is better because it, it fades from the one animation to there and then you put in here um walk cycle and that's that's pretty much it just check on that I'm also gonna add another one I don't know if this is gonna work um, actually no if we just get get key get key so that it'll be it'll be holding the space bar down and then else uh, else And then else animation dot stop, and we can put in the string of our name, or if we just put this, it'll stop all the animations. So jump back into Unity, and we're gonna drag that script onto our monster. Tada! And uncheck play automatically here. Make sure you do that. And then I'm just gonna move the camera down so we can see it better. So, the game is now playing, and now if I hold the space, he walks, and I let go, he stops, see? Aha, look at that. Isn't that fantastic? Um, you can kind of get the idea from there. Crossfade and stop are the two main ones you'll be using, so, you know. You could also have, like, in update, it just always plays idle, and then if you're pressing... 
the arrow keys, it plays the walk cycle, and then there you go. It, it's, it's easy. You, you get the idea. Anyways, thanks for watching, and that's pretty much that. Oh, and, and comment and subscribe and, you know, what other people say at the end of a YouTube video, I don't know.